Hello everybody, welcome back to The Lawnmower Detective. I appreciate y'all being here and this is just going to be a short video, a uh, quick update on the um, <clears throat> Black & Decker, <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, Super Service Valve refacer that I purchased not long ago. I know some of y'all saw me post some pictures on it on Facebook and um, so I've basically just been trying to get it cleaned up and uh, I actually had to do some rewiring. So, and the reason for that, when I turned it upside down to see how everything was wired, I don't know, let me try to get you all close here. This is the mess that was in there. It, this machine was made in the late 40s, early 50s. So the wiring in there was just terrible. So basically all I've done is I took a heavy duty extension cord and ran it in the back and I'll take you around there and show you that real quick but anyway y'all stay tuned okay as I mentioned a few minutes ago I ran a huge extension cord I mean this thing is 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 heavy duty the way the power was ran before was the main power cord came into this hole here went through the body underneath and then it went to a switch on the front for the motor here and then there was another switch on the other side for that motor but each one of these cables had a plug on the end of it so the the cable coming from this motor went into a plug that was down here so basically all I've done as you can see is the other end of this heavy-duty cable is turned into the outlet for this motor so I sacrificed uh, another extension cord in order to have an outlet over here and an outlet over here so basically it runs exactly the same except the switches on the front don't work which is not a problem uh, so you just plug it in when you, when you need it and off to the races I'll bring you back around the other side and show you all about it now, I will apologize in advance. This thing is loud, okay? You've got two motors going at the same time. This is the wheel head, which is turning this grinding wheel here. And then this is the work head, which is turning the actual valve stem itself. And this is graduated. That sucker's on there good. Where's my screwdriver and this is why my screwdrivers are very straight or very rarely straight <laughs> like I said they're multi tools so what you can do is you can move the work head to the desired angle your prescribed angle that's 30 45 that's a 60 it's a 75 and then you got a, a 90 so when I first got this thing the movement was just all seized up it would barely barely move but now I've got it to where it moves in either direction absolutely freely and flawlessly so I'll go ahead and put some power to it so you can just see that it, that it's running so like I said before noise alert it's kind of loud I'll try to tone down the sound in post, but we'll see. So all in all, that's going to be a huge asset to this shop. Uh, the only problem is that the collet that's inside of here is for the larger diameter stems. So I'm in the process of trying to find a smaller collet that goes inside of here for the smaller diameter 
<clears throat> smaller diameter stems for small engines. And up to this point, I've yet to you know be able to find any. <clears throat> Pardon me. So, but all in all, it, it's going to work great if I need to use it. So with the various angles, you can put the uh, tri grind on there, and if, if you really, really wanted to. Uh, but you know, most small engine stuff is just basically just you know 30 or 45. Uh, so, so that's where we're at on that. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you being here. Oh, I forgot to tell you that even down here on this end, I'm missing a piece, but you, it's got a grinding wheel on this end, too. I don't know if you can see that. Let me make sure. Yeah. There's a grinding wheel on this end, too, and it, uh, I finally got this freed up to where it actually collapses against the spring now. And this is a, a graduated knob here. So if you need to take off three thousandths, you can get your in the attachment you can put your valve stem in here up against the grinding wheel and you can adjust how much you want to take off and then you can just zip, zip it in there zip zip and take it off so it's going to be pretty cool once i get it all up and running hopefully i don't have any valves stems in the near future that need uh, serious work Oh, and this also has a, uh, a pump as well that came with it, a uh, reservoir pump. So you can pump your uh, cooling liquid down here onto the wheel and the grinding wheel. And it's got a return nozzle on the back for this hose that comes up across the top and puts that fluid right down there on that grinding wheel. So you don't create too much heat on your valve stems, your valve faces. So it's, it's, a, it's going to be a good addition. So if anybody out there has any manuals or any good information about that collet, uh, maybe where I could find one or maybe you have one that you might want to get rid of, just please let me know. Um, or if you, I've never really used one of these myself, so if you could put me in contact with someone in a video or a link of some kind to, to show me how to actually uh, use this thing. That'd be, that would be highly appreciated. I know Terrell's got a video on his machine, so I'm going to have to go watch that later But before I start grinding valves and stuff. But this is just a labor of love, and uh, it's going to be a good addition to the shop, hopefully. So uh, until I see you all next time, don't forget, it's donut time. Lawnmower detective just fixed my weed eater. It's donut time. <laughs>